Good evening, and thanks for tuning in to Notations of a Nappy Girl, episode 30. We are at the big 3-0. Yes, we're doing it, people. I know I'm a little tardy. Should have posted this yesterday, but hey, I'm working nights. I'm tired, sleepy. My days run all together, so sorry. What I want to talk about today is, and I'm multitasking, so excuse me. Um, so I'm smoking, I'm recording, I'm getting dressed for work. All that, but don't hold the smoking against me, people. I'm trying to quit. Nicotine is powerful. But hey, this is what I want to talk about today because I know somebody needs to hear this. Holding grudges. We got to let that go. Here's the thing. When you hold a grudge, you're doing nothing more but giving the person and or entity that has hurt you constant power over your life. Now, there's one thing to forgive. You never forget. Everything that happens in our life, we learn from. So I'm never saying forget what somebody did to you, but forgive them. And when you forgive them, don't just say the words because it's like an empty I'm sorry. It's saying something you don't mean. Forgive them from the heart. Really open up and let it go. Blow it out. And I'm talking about people who are dealing with hurts from cheating um, hurts from their parents not being there for them. Uh, in my lifetime, I've run across a lot of women. I'm almost 40. I've run across a lot of women who have what I term daddy issues. They have the issues because their daddy wasn't there when they were growing up for whatever reason. Same thing with absentee mothers. You have people that hold a grudge against their parent. Well, my mom wasn't there for me. My dad wasn't there for me, blah, blah, blah. Not discounting the impact that it has had on your life because fatherless and motherless children do grow up to a completely different set of problems than those people who did who had the parents in the home. I'm not saying that that's something that's to be taken lightly. It's not. For everything that happens in your life, there is a reason why it's happening. There is an understanding that has to be gained sorry, from what's going on in your world. So though everything may seem tumultuous and everything may seem up in the air, there is a lesson to be learned as soon as you get to the end of your journey. And none of us know when the end of the journey is. Now, I'm not using the word end, you know, very tightly, meaning like death. I'm using it quite loosely because we have different things that we're doing in our life at different times. And each thing that we're undertaking is in itself a journey. So when you get to the end of that particular journey is what I'm saying. You have to let it go. When you sit there and you think about ex-loves and somebody who's left you with the feeling of being disenchanted with love, you're jaded, you're cynical, things of that nature, you got to let that go because if you don't, it gets like a, like a sore. And it'll just fester and keep just getting infected. And you can go in like the doctor and cut away the dead tissue, meaning like replacing it with the new relationship or something like that. It still does not clean out that wound. It still does not remove the infection from your heart. You have to forgive. Like forgiving is almost like exercising a demon. It's like just purging yourself, getting rid of something, getting it out of yourself. And too many of us are going through life with these open sores, whether it's from childhood hurt, trauma, or what have you, whether it's from something that happened in your adult life, you got looked over for a promotion, so now you hate the company, or what have you. All these things can be considered grudges. Step back, take a look at your life. And look at what it is that's holding you back. Because that grudge, nine times out of ten, is holding you back. Why? What fuels a grudge? Negativity, hurt, indecision, uncertainty. That's what keeps feeding it. And it grows like a cancer until you can't take it anymore. Now you, it's too big for you to cut out. Now it's like a huge tumor sitting on your shoulder like an extra head. And you're taking that into each relationship. You're taking that into your adult dealings with parents. Whereas you may get along fine with your parent as an adult, but if you keep going back to that same childhood hurt, you're always going to be that little kid. It's the same thing to the lady who got married once and she stayed with her husband 30, 40 years and he continuously cheated on her. You know, it's, it, it doesn't end. 
if you don't find a place for it in your life. Me personally, I like to say that everything that happens in my life, whether good or bad, is a learning experience. I'm experiencing different things every day. I got two new jobs. I got a kid that's almost 20. I got school. I got familial obligations. Everything goes on in my life and it's a constant journey and I'm on so many different roads doing so many different things that I can't afford to let the hurt of episodes past haunt me in my future. I can't let that negativity carry over. And we all make the New Year's resolutions to let it go, to blow it out, to lose a couple pounds, to work on those friendships. People, if we want the state of affairs in our world, regardless of where you reside, regardless of what realm you exist within, because trust me, people have told me they're a little different. Whatever the case may be, if you do not let those things go, you can't get any further. You got to be able to breathe, take a deep cleansing breath from deep in your diaphragm and blow it out. The stuff that, that's the, uh, I'm tongue tied. The stuff that no longer works for you, move beyond it. Whether it's people, places, or things, I don't care what it is. If it no longer serves a purpose in your life, Move beyond it. Get past it. Do something different. Like a comedian once said, I can't mess with people who are doing the same thing this year that they was doing last year. Not only motivate yourself, motivate those around you. Always strive for excellence within your realm and you will get it. Because what's excellence and perfection to you is something completely different to somebody else. But know you. And let those grudges go. That's my time, people. Got to get to work. Peace and blessings.